welcome to another video for simonsystamp.com. Today I'm going to show you a couple tips for die cutting and it all has to do with partial die cutting. And I'm going to show you three different ways that I like to use partial die cutting. Uh, one is folding and leaving the paper off of it so it's only partial die cut. And then the other two are making your die cut smaller and also larger. So I'm gonna start out with the partial. I've got some Nina Solarite cardstock here and I'm just going to score this at exactly half. I'm going to show you how to make a circle card base using a circle die. So I'm just scoring that and then I'll fold it in half, getting a nice crease. And now I'm going to run it through my die cutting machine. All right, as I run this through my die cutting machine, I'm going to have the very bottom of it not inside the die. And that's going to make it so that um, in fact, you want to make sure that it's the folded edge right here. You want to make sure it's the folded edge that's not going to be cut. And that's going to create our folding, our foldable circle card. I'm going to get my sandwich ready. With that a little bit off the edge. I'll run that through my Big Shot. All right, and you'll see that it cut out but it left a little straight edge and that's where the fold is. So now I have a foldable circle card. Another way I really like to use dies is to make things bigger or smaller. So I have this little postage stamp edge square die. This is from the Simon Says Stamp set that has um, some larger dies as well. I like the width of this die, but let's say I want it longer. So I'm going to go, go ahead and I think I'll just start it about right here. I'm gonna put my cutting plates right there and I'm going to have the die hang off the edge of this cutting plate down below and I'll put this one right on top and I'm going to run it through my die cutting machine with the die and the paper sticking out from the clear plates. What this does is the areas that don't have the full die cutting sandwich won't cut. So I'm just running this through. All right and you'll notice that only this area is cut out. So now I'm going to take my die and I'm going to try to line it up in the same areas, making sure that those um, little intricate little cuts are lining up on the sides. You might have to kind of look at it on the side and kind of find where one of those bumps are. All right, and kind of feel that it's sliding into that slot. So I'm going to use a little bit of post-it masking tape just to hold that in place. You could also use washi tape that you've taken some of the stickiness off of. I'm just gonna put that down on both ends. All right, and now when I put it into my die cutting machine, I'm going to make sure that this end down here is out of, outside of the cutting sandwich. So I'm going, cause I don't want it to cut this line right here. That's the line I really don't want it to cut. So I'm going to have the cutting plate like that. I'll put it underneath. All right, and you'll notice like I get it pretty close to the edge here. I just don't want it to get that straight edge. So I'll run that through. All right, and now when I take this off, it's cut a larger shape. There you go, so you can see the original die was only that tall, but now I have a shape that extends past that. You can do the same thing to make it shorter. I'm gonna show you how to do that. I'm going to put this on a clear plate once again, and I'm going to have that top edge hanging off. All right, I have the same thing from before where it just cut the bottom portion of that die cut. And now when I put it on, I'm gonna have it come to like the middle of the die. Let me see if I can get a little bit of this light off. There we go. I'm going to have the die come down a little bit farther so it can be smaller. And I'm gonna go ahead and line up those 
little bumps again like I did with the one previous. I'm lining up those bumps. All right. And I can use those same post-it note tapes again. Okay, so now I'm putting it into the die cutting sandwich and I only want the portion that's going to continue that die cut. So I'm going to have the clear plate stop right before that cut line. Before we stopped right before the die, but this time we're gonna stop right before the actual cut line and that's gonna make sure that it only cuts what we want it to. So you need to remember, if you're making it larger, stop before the die. If you're making it shorter, stop before the cut. All right, so here's our other shape. There you go. And here is the positive area. So you can get a bunch of different shapes doing it this way. The one thing you have to remember is that if you're going to extend or um, make a die cut smaller, that the sides of the shape need to be um, symmetrical. You can't have like a curved area or something like that. It has to repeat the side. So it could repeat a straight line. It could repeat this postage edge. It could repeat um, maybe some cut dots. Um, maybe it extends a, like a pattern you could have. As long as it repeats the pattern, you can either make it shorter or longer. So those are some of my favorite tips for partial die cutting. Hope you guys enjoyed and I will catch you guys next time. Thanks for watching.